Alrighty, today I'm going to be comparing um, the two types of nuclear bombs, which are the atomic bomb and the hydrogen bomb. And a nuclear bomb is a type of bomb that utilizes nuclear energy to create an explosion. And this energy is contained in atomic nuclei and is released during radioactive decay and nuclear reactions. Both atomic and hydrogen bombs use nuclear energy and are considered nuclear bombs, but I'm gonna start with the atomic bomb. Um, to get the atomic bomb to explode, a certain reaction must incur inside the bomb. So kind of all, everything that's key occurs inside. Um, and this reaction is a chain reaction of the fission of heavy metals. There's a few heavy metals that you can use to create this bomb, but I think the most common is uranium-235. Um, and uranium-235 is the only isotope of uranium that you can be, um, or that can be used in atomic bombs. And to obtain the max amount of nuclear energy released, um, the content of uranium-235 must be more than 80%. And to achieve greater than 80% concentration of uranium-235, um, uranium is usually enriched by humans. And then the explosion takes place because there is a certain mass within the bomb of uranium or of fissile material um, in a concentrated place. And this is called the critical mass. Once the critical mass is achieved, a nuclear chain reaction occurs and is formed and releases energy. In order to create a nuclear size bomb, um, energy, uh, you must have four to five critical masses of matter. So just one won't create a bomb. And then um, one way of doing this is to detonate the outside of the concentrated material. Um, and so the fissile material, if we have a round bomb, the fissile material is all inside. And if you detonate outside of the sphere holding all the fissile material, um, that energy will kind of push onto that bomb and it will then concentrate all of the fissile material of uranium-235 and it will increase its density because we're pushing on it um, and that will create a nuclear reaction. Um, and this, oh, not a nuclear reaction. I guess it is a nuclear reaction. It's just in a bomb size of reaction. And then the hydrogen bomb is different um, than the atomic bomb because the hydrogen bomb creates an explosion utilizing thermonuclear fusion. And this is a very fast explosive reaction that takes place inside um, the charge done by deuterium and then tritium. I hope I pronounced those correctly. And the main effects or effective substance in a hydrogen bomb is lithium hydride. And in order for the fusion um, to take place, the temperature must be hot enough to allow um, ions of deuterium and tritium to overcome the Coulomb barrier and fuse together. And I think that was like 100 million degrees Celsius. I can't remember. Um, but a lot of heat in order to create that. And the detonation occurs using the integrated nuclear device, which is inside the bomb. Um, it's kind of like a detonator. And that creates that high temperature for the fusion of deuterium and tritium. And when activated, energy is released. A lot of energy is released and causes an explosive thermonuclear reaction. And so that is what makes a hydrogen bomb. Um, I liked the video that we watched because it made me feel better that 15,000 nuclear bombs are still not the same energy as um, the asteroid that got the dinosaurs. And that is what makes a nuclear bomb a nuclear bomb. Thank you.